my father growing up really wasn't, he was always there, but he wasn't present. He would always be like painted on the wall. He would, he would just pay the bills. He would just make sure you're okay. You have what to eat, what to, what to, where to sleep and what clothes you have. And then that's it. Any emotional baggage, that's, you go to your mom. And that can be a cultural thing, but I see it more as this is a more generational thing now. It's more common now because there's so many people who are broken in this time, in this day and age right now. There's this, there's this rampant cycle of brokenness and darkness and despair and hatred for just that word, Father. And people project that on, on, on God. I thought fatherhood was really, really a dark place to be. It wasn't, it wasn't the best job because I knew how my father was and I really didn't want to become that. That's, I promised, I swore to myself that that's, I would not become like my father. When I first saw God as a father, I really didn't, I felt as if he was never present, just like my dad never was. Like he was always there, he was around. He, like God was my backup, but he was never there. Like he was never there in my time of need. Only when I was extremely desperate where I would cry out to God and say, I need this right now. I need you to bail me out. I need you to be a miracle giver. I need you to do something. That's when he would pull through because that's when my dad would pull through when I was extremely desperate and he was my last call. That's how I saw God. And it wasn't until God was speaking to me and, and, and essentially broke me down even more in order for me to see how much more he loved me, even in my brokenness. He had to break off my projections onto him. He had to break off what images that I put superimposed on him and really just learn who he is.